hello everyone once again thank you for joining us today presentation today we are going to see how is audio actually a potential solution software for a textual machine industry so so far we today we are going to focus uh, how a machine industries uh, have a most common challenges and in that order today's textual and machine industries we are going to uh, show on this presentation so these are the main agenda today we are going to cover and how the manufacturing normal manufacturing uh, drawings can be generated without any errors and the sequence processes for an assembly se assembly sectors and the evaluation of the assemblies to design the uh, to reduce the design time uh, in order to uh, to design perfectly in automation process and the evaluation of the products whether it will withstand the in a real time environment like that so as i told um, these are the challenges we face in a common manner like uh, the reworks number of reworks again and again usually when completing the part the product component and taking those component into the assembly so we face a certain errors it does not miss, uh, does not mate with the components it collide with each other and the whole miss elements will be there and not only that while in a working conditions uh, it cause a unstability manner so it causes a product failure so repeatable usage of the material it takes us to a scrap cost and it provides a number of wastages and same it's cost everything is comes under the project timeline does not meet so we rush into the um, product manufacturers we face the number of bottlenecks in a certain scenarios and this everything which we meet in a common manner is cost so how to save the cost time and the improve the quality and the reliability of the product the machine we manufacture and to reduce the number of prototypes and its cost so if we see one by one so here the first thing uh, i would like to begin with a normal sketch and the things we usually we face is a lot of existing 2d drawings in our tables we have a bunch of files and we doesn't mind uh, what the causes of this each uh, the f uh, drawings we face it takes uh, us to the manufacturer so within the design stage itself we can able to evaluate the product we can apply the certain materials and we can check the weight in case of any weight reductions concept can also be applied and this the ultimate thing is to build a quick 3d model which can be make any decent changes then and there so we don't want to wait for the changes from the superiors so any changes we would like to do can be updated then and there and in case of any stage based drawings the integration between the design and the manufacturer can also be easily attained so after completing the 3d model what we obviously do is it's uh, the manufacturer people will need in the a 2d drawings so those detailed drawings can also be generated within a matter of minutes and since it is an automation process simply drag and drops often is the only way for the users so that the error maximum error can be reduced so let me see them in action how uh, it will be a helpful for the textual machine users to develop the part and developing the part into the an assembly environment and building of sketches so the basic building of a 3d model is a three, uh, normal 2d sketches so here i would like to make a normal sketch with respect to the axis and how i would like to prefer preferably do in my normal autocad so here you can able to see is i am simply creating a 2d sketches so the dimension of this 2d sketches will be a easy manner so that is there if any changes instantly i can able to convert within a matter of minutes so the uh, i would like to prefer the height of this i to sketches is will be a 65 mm and this coverable distance with a 30 mm distance and the overall width of uh, covering this 120 mm so the distance i would like to make is 62 mm so the height i would like to take is 32 and this is one is a 30 mm so instantly you can able to see the normal blue sketches has been turned into the a black sketches this means that i have defined a sketches with respective dimensions so 
so i don't want to feel any discontent within this part so i simply moving into the instant 3d model so i can instantly move the the faces with respect to the scaling you can able to see or else i can able to change my dimensions value with respect to here so here are my next uh, the topic the cover will be the sharp edges to avoid the sharp edges we obviously we cover with respect to the any fillets or chamfers so by simply clicking on the edges it automatically turns a preview window so that the fillets dimensions we can able to control with respect to this so you can able to see the pink color mark shows that that wherever the fillet necessary it takes me around automatically we don't want to simply click every edges in this model so here the changing of dimensions can also be easily if uh, changeable so that is audex is a parametric software so after filleting i would like to preferably do a chamfer so simply i am making the chamfer with respect to the uh, 2.5 into 4.5 de 45 degree so i am choosing the edges here and facing off okay so the next thing i would like to do is i am making of extrude cuts so here the preferable i am like to do is is, is selecting of circles so here i would like to say is the sketch entities the relation between the two entities will be have a uh, suggestible with a coradial or the tangency or the equal or the concentricity so here i am making the relation between the two entities equal so that i do any one of the dimensions you know for me to make the two circles a fully defined so here you can able to see it automatically changes the dimension with respect to the pitch of the distance so here and another thing is the relationship between the two sketches will be automatically takes me to the the points uh, choose is will be a difficult task so here in sodox 3d cad we can able to make relationship either it is a perpendicular or parallel or the tangency so either with whatever it may be so the relationship can also be done within a matter of seconds and after completing this 2d sketch i would like to make an extrude cut of this model so this after uh, si similar to the model i do like an extrude so this way i'm similarly doing like the extrude cut of this model so after this in case of any standard items i would like to do i can preferably do a whole wizard here in whole wizard you can able to see the different customized holes like counter sink counter tap tap hole and the counter slot the legacy holes etc like that with respect to the different kinds of standards like ansi inch ansi metric or the australian standards as the bsi dim standards etc like that here the different kinds of standards with respect to, to the items we choose uh, for an example the 1 by 2 inch i would like to make the a hole with respect to the size here you can able to find that with instantly i can able to change the size with, res with respect to the items i choose so here you can able to find that i have been applied a hole with 1 by 116 thread tapped hole the another thing is i would really like to make a, a material which i would like with respect to the different kinds of class based materials like uh, steel iron or aluminum here i would like to make an a x a 1020 materials so this kind of material i can able to customize within the design stage so i can be able to evaluate the weight of this component within my design stage itself. so here the asa 1020 material the weight of this component is 1 to 5 grams so that i have been able to concentrate on the weight reductions i can also able to do in my design stage itself so after completing this i want to make a 2d drawing for this part so for this i can want to make a uh, detailing so the views the respective views i don't want to make uh, the manual drawings so within the placements of the views which is automatically generated in my view palette is only way for the designers to create you see you can able to see on the left side there are different set of views like front view the top view the right views the bottom views etc like that so simply dragging and drop option is only the way to design a to set create the different kinds of set of views so the next i would like to make a side view of this part and 
in case of any sections that also i can able to make uh, with respect to the items so simply choosing is the only way for the designers so you can find the different sets of views and not only that in case of any detailed view that also i can able to focus with respect to the circles i make and here you can able to find that and what about the dimensions so the smart dimensions can also be enabled in the easy placements of views with respect to the horizontal or the different directions so here you can able to find that the different edges that i will uh, be measured with respect to the horizontal directions and in case of any vertical ordinary dimensions that also i can able to make with respect to the edges i'm simply clicking on the only the edges it automatically generates the dimensions everything we do and not only that in case of any chamfer dimensions that also i can able to make with respect to the things we do so by proceeding this drawing to the a manufacturer will be a perfect suitable thing that can we can able to create this and not only that by simply creating this such a part we can also able to make this part into the assembly environment so let us show you this part how we creating the part taking into the assembly environment and to create in a different structures So the next thing we are going to see is assembly sequence and error identifications. In case of any assembled parts, uh, how we can able to do in my real life. So similar to that, in the design stage itself, we can uh, check whether it is a, any uh, error, the mating errors or the interferences between the two components or the collisions between the two components like that. And the animation, any uh, in case of any assemblies, so this will be a definitely useful for the manufacturers to understand the assembly sequence we can be generate the animations for the sharing of through mobiles or the any video files like avi format the mp4 format like that and the ga so we can able to instantly we can able to create the ga and the automatic bill of materials we don't want to stress ourselves on creating of the bill of materials so that we miss any one of the particular uh, the descriptions of the part items like that and with respect to the balloon creations, the bill of materials can be easily generated. So let us show you how an assembly will be a definitely useful for the manufacturer. So here I just simply want to make any one of the component here. So here I am just bringing this component. You can find the arrow mark here. So this component must be uh, mated between these two components. Here you can able to find this one component and another component I just want to make. So this component must be bring with each other to respect to the placements I would like to do. So the sighting of these two faces will automatically shows me different kinds of mates here. So which is the best mate will be automatically selectable. So the only way the users can simply click OK on the screen which is shows automatically. So here this part will be a commonly with distance to this space area it should be equally displaced so i am just choosing the width mate automatically suggests me it takes me the breakage of uh, allowances between the one gap to the another part and not only that you can able to find that uh, the the space should be a parallel mate and uh, with respect to this part and this place of this part is must be a collision between this area so this kind of things we can able to make and not only that by rotation of these parts the weaving of these parts and this what i told we will be automatically how in my in our real life we do so similar to that we can able to create the parts in such a way that the ordinance can be easily created So what about the in case of any uh, standard items like you can able to find here the different fastness here. So the same fastness I would like to make here. So in that order I can use the toolbox library. So here on the left hand side the design library has a set of tools 
that automatically takes out say different kinds of standards like ANSI inch, ANSI metric or the AA standard. So the each standard has a capability of uh, different power, power, power box items or the hardware items like the, the motor gearbox and the bolts and screws with the different standards, the bearings. So anything we have to do is uh, the O-rings like that. So anything is preferable. So simply drag and drop option is the only way for the design. We don't want to design again and again for the different kinds of standard items. So here I just want to make a smart fastener for these items. So in that order, I would like to prefer only the holes. So the automatically the smart the fasteners taken place with respect to the standards we design. So we don't want to simply design again and again and we don't want to design manually. So here you can able to see the left hand side the smart fasteners tables here. So here the table it automatically takes us the different kinds of standard formats. So here you can able to see the different kinds of toolbox sets. So here only the internal components we select identical components like that I, we can able to filter those things. So here I am having a preferable uh, tool called select toolbox. So by clicking on the toolbox it automatically takes me to filter only the toolbox items we do and so that those lists can be directly shared to the purchase department or the any bias or the making components we can able to differentiate like that. So this assembly I have to take to into the drawing detailing environment. So this the again I don't want to make any references. The views automatically take generated in automatic manner. So here simply dragging and option is the only options. So here I just need an isometric view. I don't want to be any of the uh, front view, the rear view like that. So I am simply erasing this model and the isometric view is enough for me to do with respect to the colors I choose and the scaling can be done. So here I just want to make creation a bill of material. So in this assembly we have a bunch of components up to a 200 components up to a 100 components like that. So sitting and doing a manual process can cause error and can take a lot of time. So here we can instead of that we can create a bill of materials automatic bill of material generation can be created within a just a single click. So here you can able to find that the part number the description material and the quantity and the quantity how much quantity it have and uh, it automatically generates in the form of tables. And not only that in case of any uh, the each table represent the each part. So we have to make a ballooning process for identification of those parts. So I don't want to search for this and I don't want to manually create any of now the balloons. So here the automatic balloons can be generated with respect to the bill of materials I created. So the everything will be happen within a matter of seconds and man matter of minutes. So those the main ultimate thing of this Soldos 3 d care is to avoid the errors to save a lot of time. The productivity can be increased and the prototype can be reduced. So until that you can see that uh, the differences of the part creations, the material applications and the material database and the two box items like right? and with respect to the assemblies we do the mating of the components like that. So another interesting thing is we have to evaluate the part. So the evaluation of the part is very much of a difficult thing. So here in that order I just want to show you how the product can be evaluated. So before that I just want to take you to the configurations like that. So here before I am just creating this I would like to show an automation process. So this process can be easily generated with respect to different kinds of standards like that. So I am just creating the a configuration with respect to the automation. So in this configuration I don't want to make this part. So I am just making the suppress of this component and this component also I don't want to be a part so by switching off the configuration you can be able to see that so and switching over to the next i don't i can ever be able to see the part configurations and in case of any another configuration i would like to do is that also i can be able to create within a matter of seconds so this time i don't want to create any one of the fillets and the chamfers like that so i am just Delete cleaning your components. So here you can able to find the the first stage and second stage and the third stage. So I'm simply switching over this part 
and again this thing switching on this guy down to this one and this is my basic things and this is my the fillets and this is my the another thing you can able to find that the samples can be deleted on the next stage and the holes can be included on the next stage so this was so this bringing back to the assembly 2d drawings that also i can able to create with respect to the configurations i created so this is enormously reduce a lot of time for the uh, different kinds of structures we do so this is what we told and this is another type of automation called and uh, the dry works and the equation controls between the variables and the presentation by using the excel based so everyone has an ms office product experience so the automation can be done uh, with respect to the excel which is called the excel based automation and by changing only the numerical values and here we don't want to change the design again and again and simply changing the numerical values simply controlling by the numerical the whole product design will be automatically changed with respect to the drawing part and the assembly and this will be preferable uh, work very worthful for the presentation showing the presentations in front of the customers or the any uh, seminars like that and here to automate this process there is uh, no need of any skill staff for this automations only even though a sales person even though a marketing persons can take their pr product in front of the customers they can also be a easily operated the next thing we are going to see is the product valuations which uh, we every the everywhere the product we manufacture we have a common question is uh, product design which product design is better we have a different alternative ideas we have a different iterations we undergo so the we spend a lot of cost a lot of money for the trial and error method so here we don't want to make any one of the trial and error method you think the design say by simply changing the design we can evaluate which product design is better and what is the product life with working on the certain circumstances and where is the maximum load takes and where the first failure begins so we can awareness on the product we manufacture so let us show in the presentation so actually this is one of the part i would like to make and here this part i just want to analyze this part and these are the areas i just want to make a fixture and acting on the load area above this part so here i just want to make the simulation of this part with respect to the the fixtures how we real time we apply the fixtures either it is a grounded or using the nuts and bolts or the one side is supported and another side is immovable like that so everything there in time real time scenario how we do the same we can here also able to do and the, the forces the external forces it may be a force the pressure or torque or even though a gravity the real time gravity how we face so similar things we can also be able to do so here i preferably doing a new study for this and uh, making a static study of test making a load testing so here the load testing is my uh, study name i am just simply clicking okay so here the making parts the fixtures this is what i told the fixture geometry the roller sliders or the fire fixer hind the elastic support the bearing fixtures extra like that here i just want to make a fixer geometry of this part with respect to the grounding of these holes so these are the uh, fixer part i just don't want to any movable area like that and the next my external thing is my either a force or torque the pressure the gravity centrifugal force or even though a bearing load etc like that here i just want to make a force with respect to the upward direction upward faces of this towards a downward directions and let i choose the 500 newton force for this material and simply clicking okay and making the mesh so the results will be a within a minutes and it will more or less it is a 90 percentage and accurate result with respect to the any analysis software so the yield strength of this material you can able to find this a 351.57 newton per mm square the mega pascal with respect to the mega pascals and this is displacements so how much of the displacement it moves me and shows me the fact of safety we do so this stresses the deformation of the whole part the stresses we can able to evaluate 
how long we are we can able to create that the real time scenario we can able to create in the form of playing the animations so here you can able to notice that the deformation of the stresses with respect to the whole body you can find the maximum stresses and the minimum stresses you can find here So and not only that, the maximum load carrying area also we can able to calculate by using the design plot. So here the blue color indicates me the there is the maximum load carrying area. So that I just want to increase my thickness of this part or reducing the load on this area. So by mo moving the most loaded area, you can find that the area the carrying can be variable with respect to the percentage. Here you can able to find the volume of this part, how long it takes carryable the inside plots and not only that the different kinds of displacement plot the fatigue and uh, to find the lifetime of this part we can able to do the result forces in case of any bearings or nuts we use the connectors in, in simple terms connectors so these things you can able to retrieve that So the end of the session, we uh, the solutions others to a solo is uh, we can able to create the uh, we have an uh, additional options like uh, convert the 2D files directly in a matter of minutes. No, doesn't matter whatever the different formats like DWG or the DXF. So by directly converting the AutoCAD format or the draft set parts directly into the solos, and not only that the automations can be done with certain configurations. So that the different machining operations can be varied with respect to the configurations and to reduce the design time. The ultimate thing is to reduce the design time and not only the designers can operate this automation tool even though it sells by, while taking this uh, product to a presentation in front of the customers like that can also by use the design automation tool and the errors. So the even though an errors can also be easily identifiable within the design stage so to reduce the number of prototypes and the increase in the productivity so the main thing is the uh, to reduce the number of prototypes and this cost as a tool you can able to see that the right hand side of the chart the face of the product life with respect to the lifetime of the product cost so by increasing the concept architecture and the design the testing the process planning and the production stage by crossing the different stages you can find the increasing of the cost with respect to the model. The completed cost will be a fixed and it is some variable changes you can find that but this blue color indicated lines like that the incurred cost. So what are the, the concept architecture we design the testing we go undergo any different kinds of stages the cost will be automatically varies but on the production the process planning to the production you can see a drastic change but that ultimately peak to the cost where the lifetime product cost will be increased so by meeting the project timeline a very quick so we can able to control this much of cost and the reduction of the project failures up to 78 percentage can be reduced and the main thing is the scrap reductions up to 20 to 34 38 percentage of the scrap cost can be reduced and the increase in productivity time and the productions and at last the achieved return of investments very much faster up to 56 percentage so that any of the textile machinery industry people can apply this always 3d cat so they can win the business opportunities in this competitive world in case of any queries uh, you can please feel free to contact us at easiest computers india private Life limited and you can ping me mail at mkdg at the rate of easiest.co.in and mobile number nine double four five four two four seven zero four Thank you.